I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a back to school haul for you. Now if you caught my last video all about back to school, you'll know that every year I do a back to school stock take and that is where I go through a list of all of the things that my children will need for school, see what they already have and see what is left for me to get. Now this list is available for you to grab from my blog when you join my email club and the link is below to grab that. You get the ultimate mum bundle full of printables to help you get organized as a busy mum. So before you buy anything for back to school, do the stock take, see what you've already got, save yourself some money, and then move on to the stuff you've got to buy. So I've already done the stock take, here is the haul, and these are all the things that I'm ticking off my list of things I still needed for September for my children. So starting with uniform, my eldest is pretty much fine for uniform, other than needing a couple of pairs of black jeans because he's in the sixth form, that's what he needs to wear. I've not got those for him yet, and I've also not got the badged school jumpers that William, my nine-year-old, wears. However, I have got loads of stuff for the girls because the boys didn't need a lot, but the girls had a few gaps in their uniform stash. So the first thing I got, these two pack of skirts for Bella. These are 12 pounds. They've got a little side zip on them. It's also got that pulley and elastic bit that I like for the boys' trousers. My children, other than Zara, are very tall and very slim. So Zara is actually quite slim, she's just very short and very slim. But without these pulley any bits, often the waist on trousers or skirts are just too big and they just drop to the floor. So glad that those have got these. These are stain and weatherproof crease resistant. That's what we like. I like to be able to abuse the uniform. Wash it on hot, chuck it in the dryer and not stress too much about caring for the uniform. And that was just 12 pounds. These, plus everything else I'm mentioning in this video, are linked in a blog post below. Then I also got two pinafores for Bella. I'm not sure how much longer we're going to get away with pinafores for Bella. She will be seven in December, so when she, perhaps she moves into the junior, she won't be so fussed on them. But these are really, really cute. They've got the little button detail at the top. And look at the pocket. I mean, first of all, my girls love anything with pockets on them. But these have got little heart pockets, which I just thought were adorable. So I got two of those and they were £12 each. I do like the fabric on these. In fact, I prefer the fabric on these to the fabric on this. This is like the tough stain resistant. This feels more like boys school trousers fabric. It probably feels like it needs a bit of a soften up with some fabric softener. Whereas these are really like jersey, comfy, cozy. So I have a feeling she's gonna prefer these pinafores because of the fabric. Then on to cardigans. Bella needed a lot of cardigans. And something you have to bear in mind is just because you start the year off with a certain amount of school jumpers or cardigans does not mean that's where you will end the school year. Because if your children are anything like my children, even though every item that they own is labeled sometimes twice, they're labeled here and they are labeled in the label down here. And still, if they can take it off, they will try and leave it in school. They will do their best. So, four to five cardigans. I really couldn't find many. I think I found one and it had a little hole in it. So I've bought five of those for Zara. This one is lovely and cozy. This one was eight pounds and it's really snuggly. It's almost like the school jumper fabric, but in a cardigan, which I thought was really cute, really sweet and snuggly. And then I got these two pack of cardigans for Zara as well. These are like the nice fine knit fabric. They are tumble dryable. You can wash them up to 40 degrees. These are a two pack for 13 pounds, which I thought was quite good value. Quite sweet little cardigans. Who knows how long the cardigans will last before they leave them in school. I like to have five of everything. So in an ideal world, we sort the washing on a Sunday and then there's one for each day of the week it is allocated ahead of time. But in a worst case scenario, if one, two, maybe more cardigans are left in school, we still have some left over. And then on to Bella, she needed three cardigans. So I've got the same two pack for her. They were 15 pounds because she needed a seven to eight. Bella's were 15 pounds because they are a bigger size. Quite often larger sizes are just a little bit more expensive. And then she's also got this cardigan, which was 10 pounds. So a little bit more money, but look at the really sweet detail on the pockets with a little bow. I just thought that was beautiful. I mean, the only problem is Zara's probably gonna want the one with the bow, but they didn't have that in her size when I checked. Now some last bits from M&S school uniform before I move on to the Amazon portion of the school uniform haul. So we needed vests. These are rather boring, but we needed them. So these are age four to five vests. 
five vests for £9.50 for Zara and they are just a little camisole type vest. I got the same vest for Bella, they are also 9 dollars so interestingly the larger vests are not more expensive but the larger cardigans are, which is unusual but there we go. And then William has got a 9 to 10 vest, also £9.50, more of just like a traditional, very boring boy vest shape. They did have really pretty vests for the girls that I almost bought, with like designs and things, but I thought they're just going to th show through their school tops, so I ended up getting very boring plain ones instead. On to some bits that I picked up from Amazon and that are all linked below as with everything else in the blog post. So the girls have both got gym shorts. Now William has to have indoor and outdoor kit but when we did the back to school stock take it turns out all of his stuff was fine. The girls are in the infants, they don't actually need trainers, they just need indoor kit. They've got white t-shirts, they just needed the bottoms, so the little shorts to put on and then they just go barefoot into the hall. So Zara has got these little teeny weeny little cycling shorts, size four to five. And for Bella, she's got age seven to eight cycling shorts for her very, very long legs. Speaking of Bella's long legs, I got her some more tights. And there are five here, there are actually two packs of three. There we go, there's the other one. These are just nice, thick tights. They do tend to wear the long school socks with the bows on them when the weather's a bit nicer, but as soon as the weather goes a bit disgusting, then tights will keep her nice and warm. Then this one is a repurchase, as in a purchase I made before, not just a purchase made by Ray, who is me. So these are a pack of gym bags. I bought these last year and they're good for so many different things. So they can obviously be used as a gym bag. They've also been used last year as forest school kits, which are really handy because the children have to take wet weather gear into school for when they go outside and do outdoor learning. They also, because where we live, the route to school can be quite muddy. They wear wellies to walk to school and then they put their school shoes on when they get to school because otherwise their school shoes and indeed their feet would be soggy with mud by the time we got to school. So they have a little bag to put their school shoes in when they're walking to school and their wellies in when they are in school and these bags are perfect they're just drawstring bags and honestly they're just a really good thing to have in stock if something's going to be sent into school perhaps a costume somewhere during the year things gathered up you never know when you're going to need one of these bags and there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten really good handy item to have in stock my next item i have got are these print sticks it's because we go through a lot of glue sticks in this house. We're about to have homework season start again. Yes, we've only just got over the PTSD for having to homeschool the children, but I'm sure homework season will be upon us in no time. Hopefully they give us a little bit of grace when we go back to school, but who knows. Anyway, we go through so many print sticks. The girls like doing cutting and sticking things, even in the holidays, and for some reason are incapable of putting the lids back on the glues. So they seem to run out quite quickly. So I got a whole box of print stick. I also got a big thing of super tips, basically felt tip pens, because we do need to go through our stationery caddy, get rid of all of the pens that have run out and replace them. So again, when we're doing homework, they've got some pens to use. Then these are a little bit of a new purchase in that they are clear hair ties. So as the girls have generally plaits for school, so that they are less likely to get knits, I thought these tiny little hair bobbles, which are actually really stretchy, would be a good way to tie off those plaits. Incidentally, I absolutely need to learn how to do French plaits because I'm still rubbish at them, which is why my girls generally have normal plaits. And then I haven't just bought these. These were a pack I had before, but I will link these down below. I'm gonna talk about these now because I get asked about these a lot. These are the pocket wallets that I attach to the children's school bags. I punch a hole in the corner, I attach them to the children's school bags with a carabiner. And if there is anything that has to go into school, like trip money or a note for the teacher or anything, it gets put into there and then the teacher can see it on the child's bag or at very least the child is reminded where it is to give it in or worst case scenario, they come home with it still in the same place and I can see, okay, I'm gonna have to physically hand this to the teacher myself 
or make them aware of it, at least it's not lost. And then you can make your child's teacher aware if they've got any mess to pass back to you, any notes, money or anything, if they can get them to put it in this, attach to the child's bag, you're far more likely to see it. It's also well worth getting a popper folder to put into your child's bag, an A4 size, so if they've got any pressure colourings or anything to bring home, then they will have somewhere to put them and they don't get all crumpled. So these are not part of this haul as such. I have bought them recently and I repurchase them frequently because they are so, so useful for back to school as well as lots of other times. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I've got loads and loads of back to school content and tips on the channel, including some videos I've got on screen for you to look at now. Choose one, I'll see you over there. Bye guys.